Hi everyone, hope you are doing good. My name is Saurabh Bharti, Microsoft Dynamics 365 professional. Welcome to the next video on my YouTube channel. And this is the platform where I come and share my knowledge and experience with you all. So today's video is about the hot topic in the market where Microsoft is posting a lot of material about this. Microsoft is talking about this and you might have seen a lot of uh, uh, blogs and the people posting on LinkedIn and other places. So I thought to let's explore uh, the area within the finance and operation then that how what are the features which we have, what are the capabilities which we have till now and let's try to explore them. Now this specific video is about just to get the introduction and just to understand that uh, how many features and the capabilities which we have, how it impacts us and how we can explore them uh, from the system perspective or the business use case perspective. So without further delay, let's start the uh, video. And uh, so this is a kind of a a chart which I have created based on my understanding till now the features and the capabilities which we have in Microsoft Dynamics 365 and also I have included something for the uh, Copilot for Finance. So we want to under first thing is there is a difference between the Copilot for Finance and Copilot for Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance. Okay, these are the two different things. So we are going to talk about that. So if I just break down all the developments which has happened uh, till now uh, into different categories. So this is what I feel. Now it's just a disclaimer that it might change uh, in future because it is changing very fast. Microsoft is releasing a lot of features, a lot of capabilities. So this might change, but this is just to give you the broader idea to categorize the different features and the capabilities within the FNO which we have it. So if we categorize this from the FNO perspective, uh, we can categorize into like different types of the capabilities which we have. So one is the embedded, uh, the copilot and AI. One is we have the uh, sidecar, which uh, we are going to talk about today, sweet video uh, as a demo. And then you have financial insight. Okay. Apart from that, the last one which we have it here is the, the co-pilot for finance. This is completely different. So this feature is not the co-pilot for FNO of finance. This is about the Microsoft 365 finance, which is your outlook and the Excel. So they have released two features in this. So I thought to add this, though it is not part of FNO, but it is going to work along with your uh, FNO application. It can work with the FNO application. So if you talk about the uh, the the embedded one, uh, now embedded one is something where it supports you the copilot and AI features within the Dynamics 365 functionalities and features like a workspace or any feature which we have. So this also we can broadly categorize into two parts. So one is the copilot in D65 supply chain, right? So there is an uh, a specific app for that and there is a co-pilot in d 65 finance now if i talk about some examples which i can see uh, right now which are released from the microsoft site so there is one feature in the supply chain area which is called as confirmed po changes with changes in workflow right uh, work workspaces so this is one of the feature which has been released apart from that in finance area if i talk about uh, you would have heard a collection coordinator summary uh, there is one feature which Microsoft has released, which is supported, I mean, based on the copilot and AI. And then you also have seen a feature, which is your invoice capture, which talks about the complete invoice automation. So, so that is also another area which we have for the copilot in uh, D65 finance. Now I'm not going to talk about these features in today's video. We will be picking up this slowly in separate videos. But this is just to give that how it has been categorized. Now, apart from that, I also uh, I was a bit confused that I should put as part of Copilot and AI, but I thought uh, it is worth putting it like you have something called as financial insight. And this is also uh, this is this also works based on your AI capabilities with the within the FNO. Now, financial insight uh, provides you uh, different options for uh, customer payment predictions where you can uh, based on your historical data 
uh, you can predict that uh, how likely that any customer is going to pay on time or it is going to be delayed it also has got a scenario or the feature within the financial insight which is your intelligent cash flow forecast i have written uh, a blogs on the cash flow forecast advanced cash flow forecast uh, automation but if you remember in that video i have also spoken about that cash flow forecast can also be generated using the external data and the predictive analysis using the ai models so that is going to work within the financial insight feature so if you have the financial insight available as an uh, add-in uh, on your fno then it will be available for you now and then also you have a uh, something called as intelligent bud budget proposal scenarios which again provides you the flexibility in the budgeting forecasting uh, scenarios which you have within the fno so all these features uh, i'm going to uh, i will try uh, my best like to uh, create a video about each of these features which we are talking about uh then you have a, a sidecar it is kind of a chat gpt uh, within the fno where you have a, a kind of an option available for you to uh, for the, for the user to uh, in, in uh, within the fno help and guidance so uh, it provides you the i mean the copilot provides in a, in app helps and the guidance that user uses the power of generative ai to give you the contextual support to users and copilot as uh, accesses the full range of public documentation to offer the precise assistance and the streamlined navigation to the extensive capability of finance and operations i'm going to give you the example and the demo of this particular uh, feature today that how what do we, what do we mean by like providing the documentation and the guidance uh, from the uh, from from the different sources which are, which we have for fno so this is about the fno which i feel uh, the the kind of features and the capabilities which are available till now uh, apart from that in supply chain i can also name like there is something for the demand planning app which is uh, again powered by the copilot and ai so there are a lot of functionalities and the features microsoft is really releasing around this uh, area you also have something called as uh, uh, a responsible ai where uh you can talk to the copilot ai uh, copilot uh, about the fno data and it can give you some some context about that it can provide you uh, the information based on that data analysis so we are going to talk about such things but at a high level i think if you are a beginner i think if you understand this structure this is going to give you a better understanding about what features and the capabilities and how it is going to be categorized right so now uh, any feature will release will release mostly as part of these pillars only you will have something within the supply chain something within the finance something within the financial insight the sidecar right apart from that one which we i have added is the copilot for finance this is your uh, microsoft 365 app so it has got two uh, features as of now which are copilot for excel and the outlook uh i have already posted a video uh, about uh, the copilot for excel you can find in this particular playlist which i am going to post it uh, in this video so you can look at that and today's our focus is to understand this uh, sidecar uh, feature which we have for the copilot in fno and we will see that how it, we can enable this and how it can uh, it can be used for us within the fno app now some key points uh, before i start about uh, the topic it is very generic uh, first thing is the that i am not covering other technical aspects of this uh, focusing more on the functional and the business uh, perspective because there are a lot of technical things are involved starting from the environments and the power platform data verse and security and a lot of things are there so i'm not that technical uh, expert in this and uh, so i'm just leaving this to other technical people who are there uh, in the community who are going to explain you all these things from the technical aspects but some key points which you need to be aware about uh, at least from the functional perspective is about the environment it is supported in tier 2 or higher environment Uh, your environment should be connected with the power platform admin center and the data verse should be enabled generally all these features are available on 10.0.38 or higher version uh, 
you need to have uh, this license key in your system admin 10.0 dot uh, uh, in license key in uh, uh, license key in your system admin where which is your sql row version change tracking and also you need to enable the uh, public spot with uh, bots with the ai feature uh, in your power platform center apart from that uh, security rules which you should have uh, enabled in the in the power platform admin center for yourself if you want to use these features are uh, there are two key roles which i could find is the aib role and then you have one role which is called a finance and operations uh, ai so you should have these two roles available for you there can be a lot of other technical things which we need to be aware but this is the bare minimum i think we need to understand now let's talk about this uh, sidecar that how we can enable the uh, copilot uh, for copilot in fns and operations so let's navigate to the uh, fno environment and let's see how it can be enabled so now i am in the finance and operation environment where i have logged into the feature management where i can see the feature which is in the previous days user experience for copilot in finance and operations so you need to enable this uh, particular feature now uh, you need not to have a lot of technical understanding about all these things so what you can do is that if you are not sure that what we how it to enable you can just click on this learn more and what it is going to give you is the step by step guide that how you can enable this so if you see this uh, it is telling uh, this is where you have this option available where you can just go and uh, talk about that how you can uh, uh, enable this so you go and step one is that having the license key enabled you go and have this particular uh, uh, power bi uh, uh, published to bot ai this uh, and the slide bar uh, slide slider should be enabled and then you can in download uh, the uh, supply chain app for this and then you assign the security rules for uh, for for this right so you can follow this and then once you are done uh, and all these things can be done in your fno and the power platform admin so if you see like this is your power platform admin center this is how it looks so you can uh, create your all the uh, Uh, all the uh, all the required configurations if i just give you some overview in this in this uh, power platform you have the environments you can create a environment and then you have dynamics 365 apps so all your uh, different apps which uh, you would require to uh, have to for for these uh, ai and the copilot features uh, should be available here if it is not available here you can click on this install app and then you can get them so if you see it here i have this copilot in 365 supply chain and there are other uh, things are available so you can go and look at this how what prerequisites which we need to have it to enable all these features okay once this is enabled uh, you can log into your fno environment and what you would see on the top is that uh, the the copilot option where after enabling this feature which you have in feature management so once you uh, click on that it is going to open a, a slide bar for you where uh, you can type your uh, any of the questions which you want to ask uh, to this particular copilot app now let's uh, let's type something let's ask something to this particular app so let's say if i can ask that uh, Uh, how to uh, uh, generate customer account uh, statement, right? So I can just put this uh, query here. I will just enter this. It is going to analyze and give me the results that uh, how you can generate this uh, customer account statement. So now, if you see it here, uh, uh, it is providing you all the information that. how you can so to generate the account statement you go to account receivable module select the customer all customer so all these things it is providing and apart from that it is also providing you the reference uh, of the uh, the the other articles which can be helpful for you to do this now apart from this i can even ask let's say 
uh, how to confirm purchase orders right so you can uh, ask this so it is going to give you the answer based on the microsoft docs uh, documents which is available out there and it is going to tell you everything so you can go to open purchase order base in this you can it is also giving you the reference of that uh, documentation so if you can directly click on this and it is going to take you that how uh, the purchase order confirmation works for you so all these things are available and you can do using this particular co-pilot experience which you have within the finance and operations okay so now uh, let's uh, come back to our initial slide so uh, hope this uh, video helps you to understand the different features and the capabilities which we have in FNO and also about that uh, what particular feature which we have copilot experience in FNO so we covered this we have covered this copilot for Excel now I'll try to create some more videos around the different functionalities which we have uh, as part of this particular uh, uh, yeah, development in the technology which is your Microsoft uh, Dynamics Copilot and then the AI features which we have it okay so that's it for this video I uh, hope this is going to help you in understanding these developments uh, and then see you in the next one thank you